Hello, good morning. No, good morning. I'm sorry. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. They could call me a win. How are you? I am bad teacher because I have COVID. COVID. Oh, you have COVID? Yesterday, tell me. The um, Ministerio de Salud called me and tell me that I am positive. Oh man, I'm yeah. sorry. But do, do, did you have and your? I feel bad. But did you take your 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 injections? In, uh, in what teacher? What do you say? Did you did you take your shots? Your injections? I don't understand. I can't listen very well. Did you take your injections? Injection. Vacunas, injecciones. Vacunas. Oh no! Ah oh, yes, yes. Oh, okay. I have to eat. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, that's that's but, good. But I today they uh, broke broke me mm -hmm. the medicine medicamentos. The medicine. Yes, and I start to to take. Okay, that's good. But you but, know, it's it's good that you took the 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 vaccines, the injections, because yes, I I got COVID cuando estaba de moda. Oh, <laughs> hace um, dos años cuando le daba a alguien que pensaba que se iba a morir uno. Se iba a morir, oh sí. man, a mí me dio así, fue horrible. Ay, yo me siento mal, pero no tan mal como para morir. Pero sí no, me yo, yo me sentí horrible. Sí, che, I'm sorry. No, but it's okay. I sí, hope sí que voy better. a estar en la clase, pero a ver si me comprende esta solo de oyente, teacher. Claro, claro, entiendo. Gracias, por decir. Más. Gracias, teacher. Okay, okay. Hi, good night. Good night. No, it's good evening. Um, good evening. Good evening. Good evening is. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, no, it's okay. Uh, as well as I'm um, sick and, and I don't know, but today um, I'm sick, but my, I, I have a flu or I don't know what, but I feel very bad. Okay. Okay, no, no problem. No problem. Okay, eh, bueno, les voy a hablar español solo un momento porque es primer día y vamos a hacer algo que se pone expectativas. Eh, de parte de Insafor nos piden que pongan una cámara. Es la forma que ellos tienen para tomar asistencia, porque ellos a veces se meten a la clase y así toman asistencia. La razón que pedimos, ellos piden esto y nos piden a nosotros que digamos esto. Y es cierto. Es porque se ha dado caso que muchas veces. No sé por qué, pero hay gente que solo pone como que si pone la clase de fondo. Están en su computadora, están en su teléfono, puede que estén trabajando, puede que sigan estudiando, lo que sea. Y se va a oír porque cuando alguien, el profesor llama a una persona y no tiene, en este caso, un ejemplo. Ok, Carlos. Porque, y, y se oye, siempre se oye así, eh, como a los dos minutos contesta Carlos. Oh, hi teacher, I'm sorry. No, 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 no tenía puesto. Eso significa de que Obviamente no estaba poniendo atención por una o, A o B motivo estaba. Entonces, eh, Insafor dijo que esto es un poco injusto para los que sí están en la clase. Y tienen razón. Y también se ha dado, se ha dado caso de que hay per, las personas que más han reclamado que no han aprendido nada cuando se regresan a las clases son las que no están activas. Entonces, bien difícil saber si están en la clase o no. 
Entonces le voy a pedir, pero en este caso, por ejemplo, Katia me dijo que lastimosamente tiene COVID y va a estar fuera. Thank you, gracias, está bien. Entonces esto es más que, to eh, que todo, por recuerden que es una gran diferencia estar presente y estar virtual. Y lo más presente que podemos hacer virtual es viéndonos. Sabiendo que estamos todos activos. Ok, entonces sí, les voy a pedir que por favor usen cámara. Si ha dado caso no usan cámara, está bien, no la usen, pero puede de que a veces no, no los tomemos muy en cuenta por participación, ¿me entienden? Porque no sabemos si están ahí o no. Ok. Ok, dicho. Thank you. Okay. Entendido. Thank you. Cool. Okay, teacher. I thank understand. You. Thank you. Thank good you. Good evening, you. everybody. I understand. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Okay, so real quick, real quick, real quick. I see new faces. So let's do a quick introduction. My name is. My name is David. My name is David Baltrans. I will be your teacher this month. So my name is David Baltrans. I live in San Salvador in Colonia Vista Hermosa. Marielos, introduce yourself, please. Okay. Okay, my name is Marielos. I live in Santa Ana. I work in Unicais and I, I am in, in this program for uh, six months. Oh, good, good, welcome, thank you. So you are from Santa Ana, Marielos, and you work in CAES. UNICAES. UNICAES. Universidad Católica, okay, yes. What is UNICAES? UNICAES is Universidad Católica del Salvador. Oh, okay, 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 yes. okay. Are you a teacher? No, I'm not a teacher, I'm a <laughs> You're a what? Internal, I'm internal auditor, okay? Oh, okay. You're an auditor. Awesome. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Mr. <laughs> Serhan. So, I live in Saltepeque and La Libertad. I'm an architect. I am 44 years old. I'm married. I have two children. Uh, the youngest of 14 and the last five years old. Uh, Sirhan, have I been your teacher before? What? What? Have I been your teacher before? No. No, never. Oh. No. no. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Where is your name from, Sirhan? I think that my my number. It's very, it's very, it's very my name. interesting. And my name is very interesting because uh, I study, I'm learning about this name. Is This name is common in uh, Middle East and Palestine, some, and South Africa. Mm -hmm. It's like Akia Jose. But, yeah. but but it the but my my number is this the shortcut that Sirhan Mohammed Sirhan Mohammed is the the common name in the Middle East. It's the Juan Perez. Of... Exactly. Okay. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I like I it, it's similar to Juan Perez. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Nice. Thank you, Sirhan. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Milton, sir, welcome. Hi. Tell us about you. Milton. Milton. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't listen. Uh, my name is Milton Canjura, and I work at Tech to Fill Factory, and I live in Apopa City, Department of San Salvador. Okay, so you work in a textile company? Okay, I'm working as textile. No, I, I'm asking, uh, is I, do you work in a textile company? Yes, oh, okay. I, I work. 
Where? I work in, in a textile firm. In Apopa? Yes, I live in Apopa. No, but in the textile company is where in Apopa? No, no it's a textile factory. It's a company is in, in Soyapango City. Oh, OK. Location in Soyapango City. OK, OK. So you take, OK, good, good for you. Miguel Angel Ramirez, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, my name is Miguel Angel Ramirez Vargas. I have uh, 41 years old. I work uh, a co-worker with Milton. Is uh, I work in Textufil, Soyapango. I live in Quesaltepeque. Uh, Uh oh. Miguel froze. Yes, froze. <laughs> Miguel and Juan Jose. I think. Okay. Other. Okay, maybe we'll come back to Miguel, but he lives in Quesaltepec and he works in Soyapango too with Milton. Good. Juan Jose Campos. I like Avalos. Hello, sir. Hi. Uh, my name is Juan Jose Avalos. <clears throat> I am mm. architect. I live in San Marcos at this moment. I, I work in University Francisco Gaviria in San Salvador. Okay. Um, You're an architect? I, yes, I am architect. I am civil engineer too. Wow. <laughs> Good. All right. And you live in San Marcos? Yes, I live in San Marcos. In oh, we morning. live we live very close. Yes, yes. Yes. How is San Marcos with this rain? Uh, in this moment, it's, it's, it's not raining. Uh, it was raining uh, one or two hours ago. Did you see La Autopista, like Paso de Jaguar? Maybe at five in the afternoon, it was hell. It was, yes. <laughs> man, it was yeah. crazy. Okay, good. Thank you. Sergio. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Sergio. Good evening. My name is Sergio. Um, I'm from San Salvador City. <laughs> I live in um, San Martin City. And I work in a uh, government office. Uh, um, I am a accountant um, and I work uh, currently in a budget uh, department. And what else? Um, I try to, to learn a little bit more of English language and it's, it's a pleasure to meet you, teacher. Thank you, it's a pleasure yeah, to meet you too, my, thank you. All to, to all my my classmates. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, next is Maritza. Good evening. Uh, oh. My name is Maritza Argueta. I am from Santa Tecla. I live in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. I'm from San Miguel. And I work for the uh, Ministerio de Hacienda. And nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. How many cats do you have? Cats? Yes. <laughs> I don't have cats. Uh, my, 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 my sister, my daughter uh, likes to paint. And she, okay. she did the drawing. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. That's a very nice drawing. Thank All you. right, good. Thank you. Okay, Irena. It's Irena with an A, correct? Yes, teacher. How, so how, how are you? Hi. So how many times do people always confuse you with Irene? Irene, Irene. Uh, oh, always. Always. I have to double fight check. All my all my all my whole life yes. for my names. It's like me, Baltrons, they always put Beltran, Beltran, yes. Beltran. Oh man. So every time I go somewhere, I always check. Let me see, please. No, no, it's Baltrons, no Beltran. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Irena, tell us about you. Well, um, my name is 
Irena Hernández. I live in Alta Vista, San Martín. Uh -huh. I work at San Salvador in, in Colón Escalón. Okay. And I fight every day with the traffic. Well, I was going to say that, man, you live in Alta Vista and you, and you live in Escalón and you work in Escalón. Yes. It's a very long way, but uh, that's life, teacher. Yeah. And I was there a student uh, about, uh, let me see, two or three months ago. Yeah, that's why I remember Irena. Yes. I remember that name. Yes. That's why it's like Sirhan. I remember that name. Uh -huh. Yes. And I was okay. your, your student. And I'm happy to, to meet everybody and okay. to see you again, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Welcome here. All right. Sara Mirelli. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, Hello. good evening, everybody. I'm Sara Martinez. I'm 32 years old. I currently live in La Gloria Mexicanos. I'm from El Salvador. I'm, I'm married. I have two daughters and I am work in a call center in Telus. And my hobbies are listening to music, watching TV, playing with my babies and reading books. Hey, very good, good. What music do you like? I I like a uh, punk rock. Oh, nice. For example, my favorite band is Black Bay Brides and Lost Property and Fall Boys or some um some a lot of bands. So okay, so you like more like the pop punk bands, correct? Yeah. Black Velvet, okay. But do you like like Pennywise and? No, is the gen is black metal. Okay, hey, nice. Very good, thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, let me see who else is here. That's everybody in camera. Miguel, what happened? Finish. <laughs> okay, sorry, teacher. My connection is a problem. No uh, worries. Okay, my name is Miguel Angel Ramirez. Uh, I live in Quesaltepeque. Is, uh, I work in Textofil Company. Uh, is a company fabric uh, clutch. Um, uh, but you don't work in St. Jacques, do you? No, no, <laughs> it's a problem going to St. Jack's yeah, right now. That's a, it's, that's a very it's a big problem, problem because it's a close. Uh, I have uh, 41 years old. Uh, I live with my family, my wife, my uh, child, uh, my father and my brother. Is in Quesaltepec, La Libertad. It's, with Sirhan. Okay, very good. All right. Nice. Okay. Okay. I see Marcela Aguilar. I don't know if she's online. Irena, David. Teacher. Any? Yes. Just one thing. Remember that there you will find two Irenas. Oh, yes. For yes, my camera. True. Why is that? Why, why do you have two cameras? Because I have to use the camera from my cell phone because my computer doesn't have. Oh, okay. All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say there's two Irenas. <laughs> yes, that's why I, I wrote uh, Irena Guan and Irena. <laughs> okay, thank you. I, I didn't see that. Now I do. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right. Uh, hello. Good evening. I'm here. <laughs> oh, hello, Marcela. <laughs> Okay, hello, my name is Marcela, and you can call me Marce, it's okay. So I am 21 years old, I don't work, I just study English, and I live in Ilopango City, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
That's so cool. You don't work and you just study. Enjoy. Yes, I, I want to improve my skills with the language. Okay, very good, yes. Enjoy these days because they will never come back. <laughs> Thank you. I try to do it. You know, you know, um, when, when I got COVID, I got COVID two years ago and it was very bad. I got it very, very bad, but I enjoyed it because I was, when I got COVID, it, it was in the time like, oh my God, he's going to die. And no, you know, you know, shh, no le a los vecinos, you know, oh my God, but I don't care. But I was isolated. So I was in, in a room only for me and people just knock on my door, the food, I eat and put the food back. And I watched Netflix all day. So for me, it was bad, mm -hmm. but it was a good vacation because- The good vacation. Yes, no wife, no kids, nothing, no family, nothing, 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 only me. That's good. <laughs> yes. I was like, I forgot when was the last time. That will never happen again. <laughs> okay, uh, very good. Thank you, thank you. Les voy a hablar español solo rapidito, okay? Um, es primer día. Les voy a decir algo. Eh, ¿Qué pueden esperar de mí? Después me gustaría oír ustedes que pueden. Que, que me gustaría esperar de ustedes. Una. Los voy a corregir, ok. Eh, de hecho, ya oí tres errores. Y no los, no los corregí en el momento porque les quiero explicar lo que voy a hacer. La razón que los voy a corregir en el momento es porque está, está caliente. Después uno se lo olvida. Por ejemplo, si oí que Marielos dijo algo malo, después, ah, después de clase la voy a corregir y me quedo. ¿Qué fue lo que dijo Marielos? No, entonces es mejor corregir en el momento porque está caliente la, la, la cosa. Y ahí le voy a decir por qué está mal y, o sea, le voy a decir cómo se dice correcto y por qué no estaba bien. Y ya van a ver que no lo vuelven a hacer ese, ese error. Eh, el inglés, eh, se los he dicho a muchas personas, el inglés es basado en tres cosas. Las tres cosas hay que tenerlas niveladas. Pero saben que nadie las tiene niveladas. Están así, como un ecualizador. Hay tres cosas que hay que tener. Y es ser igual. Es la comprensión, la gramática y su acento o su fluidez. Comprensión es que también entienden. Si no tienen problema, como what, what. No, me entendieron. A todos le oí buena comprensión hoy porque con los pocos que hablé nadie me dijo what, I'm sorry, repeat. Muy bien. Gramática. Obviamente y la fluidez. Un error que nosotros es una culpa. Eh, a veces ¿saben cuántas veces yo he oído esta famosa historia? Voy a teacher, mire. Yo entiendo todo lo que me dice, pero lo que me cuesta es hablarlo. Lo digo siempre, siempre que le digo a alguien que soy profesor. Y la razón es, no es culpa de ustedes, pero el error más grande que ustedes pueden hacer es decir que están estudiando inglés. Porque no están estudiando inglés, están aprendiendo. Y hay una gran diferencia de aprender y a estudiar. Ok, fíjense bien, ustedes pueden nadar, sí, sí puedo, no, no puedo, nadar es una acción, correcto, para, para nadar no necesitaron estudiar, para manejar no necesitaron estudiar, puede que sí, quizás unas cuantas notas que tomar, sí, pero todo lo que es una acción es una habilidad, y todo lo que es una habilidad se aprende. ¿Ya? 
Entonces hoy sí le voy a cambiar mucho su punto de vista porque si ustedes dicen, ah, es que yo toda mi vida estudié inglés, ese fue el olor, por eso es que a mucha gente le cuesta, le cuesta hablarlo. Porque la gente, o que ustedes en el colegio, iban y el profesor hablaba, bla, 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 bla y ustedes anotaban todo, pum. Llegaban a la casa, se lo leían y nunca lo practicaban. Entonces eso es como leer un libro, cómo, cómo manejar. Ah, ok, se mete la primera cuando el Carlos le hace así, después la segunda, pero si no lo están practicando, no van a entender. O sea, y les digo eso porque eh, ya van a ver, es muy diferente. So, entonces recuerden eso, están aprendiendo un idioma nuevo. Hablar es una habilidad. Sara, veo que hay un bebé atrás. Tiene un bebé, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Puede hablar su bebé? Um, some words. Ok, some. Pero ¿qué pasa? No ha desarrollado esa habilidad aún. Pero la va a hacer con el tiempo. Yes. Ahora hay cosas que sí se estudian. Matemáticas, historia leyes, etcétera, etcétera, porque lo que estudia es solo para guardárselo en la cabeza. Lo que se aprende es para practicarlo. Yes? Este es un perfecto ejemplo. What is your name? Jose. Are you married? No. Where do you live? Santa Ana. Where do you work? Diana. Oh, yeah, Jose, man. Jose is good. Habla inglés. No. Solo me dijo Jose. No, Santa Ana y Diana. Y así les enseñaron los profesores a ustedes antes. Como, wow, very good. Y, y ahora sí yo le digo, José, respóndame en, far, en forma completa, por favor. Porque por lo menos sé que José, comprensión, de las tres cosas, comprensión, estamos bien. Y si le digo, ok, José, necesito que me conteste en forma completa. What is your name? My name is José. Are you married? Yes, I do. I'm. Um, Where do you live? I do, I'm live in Santa Ana. Where do you work? I do, I am live, do work in Diana. ¿Cuál es el problema, José? Grammar. Grammar. Porque yo le dije, are you married? Me tenía que decir, yes, I am. Pero me dijo, yes, I am, yes, I do, am. Pero una cosa que me gustó de José, me entendió y me habló rápido. Entonces yo como profesor evalúo esas tres cosas. Uh, dos cosas ya tiene José bien. No me dijo, what? Are you married? What? Are you married? Y usted va viendo que entre más va repitiendo la pregunta, hasta la va actuando con las manos. Are you married? No, José de un solo. Are you married? Y me habló rápido. Yes, I do. am. Me lo dijo mal, pero me lo rápido. Entonces yo sé que cuando hablé con José, ya sé dónde, en qué es lo que vamos a estudiar con él. José, vamos a estudiar la diferencia cuando usar I am y I do. ¿Ya? Pero no me voy a preocupar mucho en estudiar con él. ¿Cómo se llama? Fluidez o otras cosas. Ahora bien esto. What is your name? My name is... Carlos. Carlos, are you married? Yes, I am married. Where do you live? I live in San Miguel. What is Carlos' problem? Uh, fluency. Fluency. Vaya, muy bien. Entonces, es, entonces, esas son las tres cosas que hay que nivelar. Y entonces, cuando yo les oiga eso, en el momento les voy a lo voy a corregir o le voy a decir cómo se mejora algo. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Marce en Milton. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Miren esto. Yes. What letter is this? Hay... I... I don't see nothing there, teacher. You can't see my, my... 
I can see go. M. M. Hey, de verdad no pueden ver. Ah, ah yes. Yeah. Letter M. Oh, okay. Okay, good. M. M. What letter is it, Milton? M. Okay, good. It's so, a letter M. Okay, so listen. It is impossible to say the M with your mouth open. Marce and Milton, it's impossible. Dian la M con la boca abierta? M. No, pero con la. Huh? M. No, but M. with your mouth open. M. 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 You can't, pero ustedes, no. pero ustedes me dijeron, my name is Milton. Yes. But listen, you said my name. Look at my lips. My name. My, my name. name. My name. My, my, my name. Exactly. Hmm? My name. Como Marcela, I think. Uh, usted también dijo lo mismo. My, my name is Marcela. Is my name. My name. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Un punto más. Y en español les digo, eso cae en la fluidez o el acento. Un problema. Y eso eh, la razón a veces porque a nosotros nos complica hablar bien el inglés es porque en español nosotros hablamos con el estómago. Ahí terminamos tirando el, el sonido. En inglés el, el sonido se define con los labios. Incluso, díganme labios con B grande. Digan la palabra labios. 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 Ajá. So, hasta es claro, se van a sentir labios. 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 Porque todos decimos labios. labios. Lo decimos con V. ¿Y por qué lo decimos con V? No nos importa, porque decimos vacación labios. o vacación. Decimos vaca o vaca. You know? No hay problema en español, en inglés sí. En inglés definimos todo con los labios. Les doy un ejemplo, mi apellido, David Baltrons. Siempre que llamo pido una pizza o algo, eh, ¿ve grande o ve pequeña? Yo dije Baltrons, nunca dije Baltrons. En inglés se oye ese detalle. <ríe> y creo que eh, Sara Mirelli me podría apoyar en eso, que trabaja en un call center que se oye, eh, influye mucho. Si ustedes quieren mejorar su acento, usen sus labios. ¿Ya? Pero como nosotros en español no, no nos gusta usar mucho nuestros labios, sino que todo lo decimos de estómago. ¿Ok? Entonces, por eso es, my name, my name. My name. Mm -hmm. my Remember, name. I am, I am. Por, Es imposible decir la M con la boca abierta. En inglés y en español, M. Ok. Ok. So remember, grammar, fluency, and comprehension. Those three things. Ok. Do you have okay. questions for me? No? For the moment. Okay, good. So, um, I will tell you like the direct pistas como mejorar su fluidez, su gramática. Let me see. Voy a abrir el libro. Un momento, please. Ahorita les acabo de mandar un mensaje al grupo del chat. No sé si ustedes están ahí. I received it. Good evening, class. That's me. Si 
si un día me escriben o algo, eh, no hay problema, escríbeme lo que quieran, si no tienen algo en su trabajo o en una entrevista, le hicieron una pregunta y no saben qué significa, díganmela y si no responde inmediatamente, I'm sorry, pero sí le puedo responder, pero díganme quién es. <ríe> Porque a veces, teacher, no entiendo esto. Yo, wow. ¿Qué nivel está? <laughs> ok. Good evening, good evening. Ok, good. Good. Ok, let me see, let me open the chat. I'm sorry, then. <clears throat> Miren, ven esto. Es súper interesante. Solo le voy a decir es. Es una aplicación. Okay. Es de, de Google. Pero. Translate. Es de, de, New, de, New, de Google. Es una aplicación. La, la acabo de descubrir que. Usted pone la cámara. Y pone la palabra en inglés. Y como que se le va a tomar la foto. Y le lee y se lo traduce. New application. Of yeah. Google. Mm -hmm. It's called, this is. Translate. Translate, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like, let's say if you see. If you see. Bathrooms. And you put the camera, it says servicios sanitarios. Yes. Very interesting. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so let me let me open this for you. So, okay, Katia, she has COVID. I understand. Um. Sara Mireli, yo sé que ahí está usted. Eh, Marcela. Yes, go. I'm here. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, hi. Digo por los que, vaya, aquí hay un perfecto ejemplo que les dije. Imagínense, hay una, dos, tres personas que no me han, no han hablado y no me han dicho nada. Entonces, no sé si están o no. Yes, por ejemplo, cuando dije eso, Marcela me habló. Thank you, Marcela. Do you have a camera, Marcela? Uh, yes, t-shirts. Tomorrow I turn. Oh my. Okay, fine. No importa si se ven feos o lo que sea. <laughs> Don't worry. Teacher, by I am explaining that. No, no, no. I understand. I understand, Katya. No, no, no problem. Yes, you are sick. You have COVID. Maybe they are in pajamas. Yes, they are in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, so we're going to start section one. Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay, infinitives and gerunds. Do you know what is infinitive or gerund? Yes, teacher. Okay, so give me an example, Marielos, of infinitive using the verb eat. Eat. Okay. I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to eat a pizza this night. Okay. So the infinitive there is to eat. Yes, to eat. Okay. So I like to eat pizza, for example. It's infinitive, right? Yes. What is the gerund? Yeah, I enjoy fun. Eating. I'm eating pizza. Eating. Okay, I enjoy eating pizza. I like eating pizza. So that's what we're going to study. The difference between I like to eat pizza and I like eating pizza. What is the difference? Because in, in, in uh, the reason maybe is that in um, ing from you are talking about something is uh, happening or means an action in course 
And when you say the verb in infinitive form, maybe it's because you don't define a specific uh, tense or don't uh, clarify if the action is happening in that moment. You okay. just do it. I don't know, <laughs> maybe I am wrong. <laughs> no, no, but thank okay. you for, for participating. Good. Okay, teacher, well, you use an infinitive, you use two. And with um, the ING form, is about my mother, okay? Okay, but does the story change? Excuse me? Does the story change? Um, I don't know. Mm. No, the story doesn't change. It's the same thing. I like eating pizza and I like to eat pizza. I think so. Okay, no worries, no worries. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to learn the difference. Welcome to Advanced Module 2. Can you hear? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. In our first topic, we'll go over infinitive and gerund phrases. We have studied this before, but don't worry, we'll explain it again so you feel comfortable with it. It plus be plus adjective or noun plus infinitive phrase is often used to comment on behavior. These sentences can also be restated with gerund phrases. It's rude to ignore your conversation partner. It's a good idea to try out different topics. Ignoring your conversation partner is rude. Trying out different topics is a good idea. The word considered may also follow be in this kind of sentence. It's considered impolite to interrupt people. Interrupting people is considered impolite. These sentences can also include the phrase for plus person or pronoun. It's customary for the complimentary to say nice things about others. Saying nice things about others is customary for the complimentary. We will begin our explanation by reminding you that gerunds and infinitives are both verbals. In other words, verbals are words formed from a verb but functioning as a different part of a speech, usually a noun. Gerunds are formed adding an ing ending and infinitives are composed of to plus a verb. In the structure just presented above, it becomes the subject of the sentence in the infinitive phrase. And ignoring, trying out, interrupting and saying are gerunds acting as subjects as well. Notice there's no changing meaning. Look at the following chart. Read it and decide whether they are using infinitive or gerund phrases. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. I wonder if it is a, it is possible that you could uh, amplify the window because I can't I can't read um, well the the phrases. The oh sentence. my God! Yeah, you're Excuse true. me, teacher. No, hey, thank you for telling me. But anyways, listen. <clears throat> I don't know, because maybe I am a teacher. I like explanations very easy. <laughs> you know, like, um, like when you go to the mechanic. Que tiene mi carro? Es que el piñón del cigüeñal de la parte izquierda superior. That's correct. Uh -huh, and you like, uh -huh. yeah. los doctores, doctores son muy mala onda en ese sentido. Sí, aquí el, el, el cartílago superior interno de bla, bla, bla. Explain to me like I am a baby. Mm. Yes. English too. There's two explanations. The university explanation or the logical explanation. 
the easy. So Jaren's, yes, is when I use an ING. I like eating pizza. Number one, this doesn't exist in Spanish. Me gusta comiendo pizza, huh? No. If, pero ya lo hicieron, le apuesto que lo hicieron. This doesn't exist in Spanish, number one. This is only English. Number two, I like to eat pizza. The difference is very little. Infinitives is more formal. Gerund is more popular. Yes. ¿Qué, oyen, ¿Qué han oído ustedes cuando ven películas? ¿Qué, ¿Qué oyen más seguido? Oh, I like going to the beach. Or I, like go, I like to go to the beach. I like going to the beach. Yeah. I like going to the beach. It's okay. It's, it's good. It's, it's good. It's no problem. The only difference is that gerund, when you speak gerund, it's more, I'm sorry. Yeah, when you speak gerund, it's more popular. Entonces, porque hay infinitive, it's more formal. That's the difference, yes? For example, Sara likes listening to punk rock music. Um, tell me something about you. I like taking photography. No, it's impossible. Hmm? No, I taking a lot of pictures. Hmm. No, actually, you're correct. Yes, I like I like taking photos. It's actually the correct the correct way. I like photography. I like taking photos. I I like taking photos. Yes. Do you know what is the difference between a picture and a photo? Yeah, photo is when you take a an specific an specific space or, or or place, and picture when you take a some different. For example, is more. Images. Yeah, a picture is like in your in your mind, but the picture you see in your mind. Yes. Photo is like the physical. What? I like taking photos. Picture is like, for example, I want to take a photo. I can picture my son. Uh, crying ah, and take the photo there. Yeah. Picture is like your imagination. It's what you see, what you imagine, what you see with your eyes. Okay? okay. For example, in this moment, it's very, it's hot. Is it hot in your house? No, it's no. cold. It's cold? It's cold. Well, maybe it's hot because I just drank this big cup of coffee. But can you picture yourself in the beach in this moment or in a swimming pool? Picture yourself. So it's like, imagine. Okay, tell me something you like doing in your free time, Sirhan. In my free time, I like ride to roll a bike. I like riding bikes. Riding bikes. Very good. Tell me something you like to do Alone, Sergio. You're in mute. Could you please repeat again, please, teacher? Yes, tell me something you like to do when you are alone. When I am, uh, when I am alone, mm -hmm. uh, I love watching series, Netflix I love series. to watch. I love to watch. Okay, I love to watch Netflix series and also I love uh, 
um, playing video games. I love to play. Oh, okay, to play video games. Okay, yeah, in this case, yes. Your turn was, uh, Sirhan was, Gerund, you were infinitive. Very okay, good. Sorry. I, I mean, no, no, but it's okay to say I like playing. It's no problem. Okay. Let me see. Maritza, what do you like eating? No, tell me, what do you enjoy eating? Uh, shrimps. I enjoy eating shrimps. Very good. All right. You know, I enjoy eating salpicón. Salpicón? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, <laughs> but I really <laughs> enjoy eating that with lemon. Mm, it's so good. So it's not only something positive, it can be something negative too. Milton. Why? What, what do you hate doing? Ooh, I, I hate doing working out and uh, working. Okay, so you only need one verb or either you say doing or working. So I hate uh, working on the weekend. Okay, okay. I hate I hate working on weekend. Okay, very good. Hey, good. I hate driving in traffic. Me too, teacher. Yes. All right. Let me see. Marielos. No. <laughs> Do, do you have uh, do you have children? Yes, I have six children. Six children. Wow. Yes. <laughs> no more. You stop at six. Yes, I am. I am older woman. <laughs> what? How much money do you spend in Christmas? Uh, how much money? How? Oh. Yeah, can you imagine the Christmas presents for every kid? Wow. Wow. Oh. Tell me something you enjoy doing with your children. Oh, I enjoy uh, talking uh, with them uh, around the, the table. <laughs> uh, okay, good. Yes. Tell me something you don't enjoy. I hate or don't enjoy? Uh, similar. I similar. hate this more like expression. I don't uh -huh, enjoy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I I don't in, I don't enjoy um, walking uh, under the rain. Okay, very. I do. I love walking. What you know? That's something I enjoy. I enjoy getting wet in the rain. Really? I yes. I, I don't like. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. Okay. I really like getting wet in the rain. Sometimes I think last week it was raining hard. I went to the patio. Oh. It just got wet. It's cool. Juan Jose. Hi. What do you enjoy doing with your friends? Um, I enjoy with my friends to play football. <laughs> I enjoy to play football. Okay, good. Awesome. Uh, Miguel Ramirez, what don't you like doing with your wife? I wait, 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 wait a minute. Is she there? No, no. Okay. My wife is in room. Okay, go ahead. I, I don't <laughs> like, yeah, yes. I, I don't like uh, what my wife is uh, to eat uh, berenjenas. Uh, no, but, tell, no but, listen to my, but listen to my questions. Tell me something you don't enjoy doing with your wife. Oh. No, it's not something okay. you don't like about your wife no that's something you don't enjoy doing with your wife ah uh, i i like doing with my wife no, or I, I like, you don't, don't like go, don't like don't like i travel with my mother in lay is uh, <laughs> uh travel because it's uh, for how oh, far is 30 kilometers and it's a problem because it's a difference uh it's so, so it's a problematic. Okay, house. so you you don't like family. visiting her family. Okay, good. Her family, is, yes, it's a problem. Yeah. For example, me, I don't like shopping with my wife. 
Oh, oh yes, my it's God. It's a problem. It's, it would, you bullying a, a shoes is oh, a problem. Oh, my it's God, what they say. I need shoes. In the mall, in the, in the store, one store, two store, three store, finish the store of the mall. And no shoes. Finish. No shoes. No shoes. Do you yes. go into house? It's, 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 no shoes. But you know, let me let me give you a trick. Take her one day to Epa or Freund. Oh, take her Epa? like for one hour, one hour. Why and not? Tell her, I, yeah, and tell her you, what do you think? Booing. What are you doing? Nothing. Just tell her what do you Nothing. think about this? Para la tubería. What do you think about that? Uh, so I, can, I don't know. The same reason, like, do you like the shoes? Yeah. Entonces. When she gets angry, tell her, hey, oh. I enjoy shopping here. You enjoy shopping for shoes. You want me to be with you? Now you be with me. Nunca más te vuelve a pedir que la acompañes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, okay, but very good, it's yes. <laughs> so remember, that's something I enjoy, I don't enjoy. I like, I don't like. I love, I hate. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. So there's always a contrary, okay? Yes. There's always a contrary. Let me see. Sara Mireli, what do you hate about working in a call center? Okay, I hate, I hate having a, a lot of available. I hate- uh, Wait, wait, you hate I, having availability? Yeah, because I didn't take um, the cases. And I, because I sleep, I sleep, I slept all day. <laughs> and then I hate, uh, I hate speaking um, all day. And I hate writing in all day. Okay, what do you like? Ah, uh, I like um, I like speaking with my with my friends, and I like taking my my lunch and my break, and I like um, sitting down. All day. <laughs> okay. I, I I worked in in Telus five years. Oh really? I was in Google. It's incredible. Yeah. I was in Google. It was so good. It was so nice. Uh is the is the best account. But now now is I hear now I hear it's a little more difficult, but when I was in Google, it was so cool. It was nice. Very easy, yeah. Everybody hated us because we had free access to internet, to Netflix, YouTube, Facebook, anything we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. really. Okay. All right. Um, well, class, thank you very much. Muchas gracias for primer día. Ya vimos las expectativas que tenemos, que tienen, y muy bien. Gracias. Vamos a hacer esto mañana. Ya empezamos con todo. Infinitives and gerunds, ¿ok? Si es posible. En la, en la clase me gusta porque es grande. Vamos a, la voy a romper en grupos. Y, y así vamos a practicar para ser más interactivo, ¿ok? Ok, okay, okay teacher. Okay, so I, thank you very uh -huh. much. Good night, teacher. Okay, thank now, you, now, you, teacher. Yes, now is good night. Good yes, night is good when night. you say goodbye. Yes. Good, good okay, evening is when you say hello. Okay, bye okay. bye. Thank you. See you good tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Okay, what? Well,